Wingardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Whatever. Hi guys, this is Grim. And Zopox. And this here is a look at my Gundam collection. Okay guys, this is Grim's collection. Anybody ready? I'm ready, buddy. All right, so let's start. Um, tell me about this guy. What series is he from? Okay, this here is one of my favorite series ever. This here is from Gundam Unicorn. This is uh, this here is the HGUC Devonol. Um, okay, that's the Gundam name. Um, who's the pilot? Um, I have no idea. Yeah, this is my Gundam expert, right? Um. So, where you got it? Okay, so I picked up this guy on a circuit, circuit for a convention. So, he was actually at a pretty decent price. So, I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna pick him up. Did anything special with the kit? Um, not as yet. Reason being, I like to paint my kit. So, the thing is, is that as you can see, I just put on a couple of aesthetics like the Chest decal and one or two other things, but at the end of the day, I want to paint the kit and um, make it pop. All right, Grim. So what about this red guy? Okay, so here we have the Shinanju, right? This here is the Kobe version, and it is also it is painted, right? This kit is from Gundam Unicorn, and as you can see, um, this here has a reverse wash on the chest piece as well as the sleeves and okay it's perfect so, so I okay. like I really love this kit. Alright so alright that's all well and good but uh who piloted this guy? Oh uh, full frontal and where you get um I bought this kit off of Amazon and he was also he was a decent price. But here we have the Gundam Unicorn Right, which is from the Gundam Unicorn series. Um, this here is the OVA version, and this here was my first ever Master Grade. Okay. Um, who piloted it? Um, Manasha Lynx. So, but the only thing I did to this kit was I painted the V fin to a gold, as you can see, and I loved everything. As it is reason being because I wasn't really into painting just as yet. Okay, up next. Okay, so here we have the full armored unicorn, which is the last form. This here it honestly is one of my favorite kits of them all. Alright. A lot of people consider this a brick kit because the fact is that it's I mean you it, you could it's very hard to pose and stuff like that. But to me, because of the fact that it comes with all the weapons and it also has you know, a lot of aesthetics, especially if you notice from the original unicorn, it's a green psycho frame, which is this here. Alright. Um, this kit is just honestly amazing. Alright, so who's this guy with this huge backpack? Okay, this here is the Banshee, right? This here is a Master Grade, and it's also P Bandai. All right, so anybody who knows P Bandai, you pay a hefty price, all right? And to be honest with you, I, I'm not a big fan of the original Unicorn. Well, at least the Banshee. Well, that is not the Unicorn, but the Banshee. So the thing is, is that I really wanted this one reason being because of the shield that you get with it as well as the backpack. Alright, this here um, is a painted, it came with um, water slides, which are these here. And I gotta say that uh, it's one of my most 
prize possessions. All right, next up. Okay, so this is where we start the idea series, which is my second favorite series of all time. All right, so first up, we have the 1100 scale Fobatos, right? This here is painted, right, as you can see. Alright, it's one of my, this here is also one of my favorite kits from the series, reason being that it was one of the most surreal animes that I've seen at this point in time. Alright, so I would say honestly, anybody who hasn't seen that game, definitely give it a watch. Alright Grimham. This guy is one of my favorites in your collection, so you could go ahead and explain. Okay, so here we have the Bobato Super Rex, also from the Ivy series. He is from the second season, and as you can see, he's very monstrous. Alright, if you take a look, he has that yeah. gigantic tail behind. Alright, that's only take a look at the tail. Cool. As well as what I love about this kit is that that gigantic beef in, which is just cool as, uh, as hell. Alright, what I did to this kit was I painted the nails because, again, when you buy this kit, the nails aren't painted yellow, which are you know, the actual colors for the kit. Okay. Do you take a look at the nails? Yeah. Can I see the nails? There you go. I guess so. Uh, focus. All right. Yeah, boy, you monstrous. Yes, indeed. Yeah. That's why he's one of my favorite. I mean, I definitely recommend anybody that's not starting off to buy this kit and take a look at painting him. Um, eventually, hopefully, in the future, I'll love to paint this guy and get him to the that he actually deserves because honestly this is here is the kit to actually paint Gundam Vidar which is one of the I like that antagonists name. of the IBO series in the second season to me honestly this kit just screams vengeance right and I didn't do much with this kit other than just probably just panel line and just pulled in like um, these areas and stuff like that. Um, this kit here is a kit that I believe needs a lot of love to become like honestly perfect. So the thing is, is that if you are a painter, definitely again also buy this guy. He's you know he's very cool. You can get this guy on Amazon. Matter of fact, you get most of these kits on Amazon that I'm actually showing you guys. So definitely pick this guy up. This is Wing Zero Custom. Alright. Oh, it is from the Endless Worlds. Endless Worlds. Series. Right, right. So the thing is, is that this kit, again, it's fully painted. Um, as you guys know, everybody who lives in the West, um, this here was the first kind of series that we were ever exposed to. So the thing is, is that this kit here, should anybody who actually builds Gundam, this kit here actually plays a big role in that sense. So the thing is, is that um, I believe everybody should own a wing Gundam who lives in the West. Um, this kit here is, I won't say my favorite kit in the world, but because of nostalgia, yep. this kit here I got, right? As you can see, it. what I did with this kit especially, um, I did a metallic um, paint using um, an airbrush. And stuff like that. Um, the kit here is basically decked out. Um, what what anybody who actually owns this kit would tell you is, is that the hands are trash with this kit. So I would tell you honestly tell you best this kit is deserves to be painted. Alright? 
I know. What, what helps the kit is is that it once you paint it, it will be able to hold weapons and stuff like that. As well as, as you can see, the aesthetics in the back. The wings are gorgeous. This kit is not to be just built and not painted. So definitely guys, pick this kit up. It is one of the best Gundams to me ever. And work with it. Alright. This is heavy arms, right? Throw a button. Shout out to Karen. Alright. Here we have heavy arms Gundam. Alright, this is Master Grade as you can see. That out of my collection, this here is not from the movie, the OVA movie. So the thing is, is yeah, but because I, I really love this version rather than the movie version. Alright. Um what can I say about this kit? This kit is solid as a rock. Alright? It to me, this is even better than the movie version. Honestly, pick this kit up. It's like literally pick this kit up. No, no, I can't say anything else about this kit. Literally just pick this kit up. Alright, so I know this is your favorite of the five. So take it away. Okay, so this here is my Gundam. My, I'm my everything. I love the Ultra Gundam. This was actually one of my favorite guns. A lot of people love Wing Zero, a lot of people love Dead Sight, a lot of people love Heavy Arms, a lot of people love Sandrock. Alright, but this here was my Gundam. Out of everything, this Gundam here is the epiphany of Gundam Stimmy. Alright, this here is the Pika and version of the Ultron Custom. And don't get me wrong, I got a lot of problems with this kit. Um, the, some of the joints actually were broken because of how I painted it and stuff like that. Um, but it was a Gundam that I needed. Or should I say, I wanted in my collection. All right, definitely, I would say pick this guy up. He's totally amazing. Not the fact that I love. No, I mean, it's my favorite Gundam. But the thing is, is that this kit literally was a joy to build. All right, even painting this kit was amazing. All right. Uh, for all those who don't know. Bandai kits come with water slides, so the thing is, is that um, it's easy to go uh, paint and stuff like that. If you guys notice, that it doesn't just have the normal water slide stickers that I uh, that a lot of people just built, or at least not the. They say that it's a different set. Is is that I went a little bit different with mine, and since so far, you know, usually there's just one sticker on this side, but I decided to go with the two stickers to make mine. You know me. All right, so this is Gundam Dead Sight, Duo Maxwell. Duo Maxwell. Sorry. Duo. So the thing is, is that this here is my final Gundam wing kit. The thing is, is that if you guys notice, I don't have Sandrock, which is unfortunate. Um, hopefully, it'll be rectified in the future. Um. This here was also the Gundam Wing kit, was my second kit I ever built from the Gundam Wing series. Um, as you can see, I went with a whole my black stealth look with it, with um, silver highlights, or should I just say sil a silver coated paint scheme when it comes to the lights and other parts. Um, it was enjoyable to build, but what I mean, this kit is basically. Um, out of all of them, it's one of the most available kits that you can actually get. Um, in the future, uh, what I would like to do with this kit is to get the um, water slides and actually put on. Alright, if you guys notice, um, the water slides are actually really, really, really easy to put on these kits. So, I mean, um, definitely if you could get the water slides, put them on. Because it actually enhances the kit in front of it by it's like okay well 
it's really really good um so yeah definitely this kit here is a definitely good buy to actually you know have in, in the collection okay up next all right so here we have the literally one of again it's also a free bird of mine but again it's not the best but thing is is that this here is the double series all right as you can see these three mobile suits here this here is the Axia master grid this here came from the Axia on chain vision all right as you can see because of the chrome pieces and stuff like that all right here we have the um, master grid um, double riser all right and here we have the, here we also have the quanta right these here are all piloted by the same pilot this um Sentinel FCA all right um I haven't really done anything with these kits to see like pink white I should because you know what I mean it's again it's in that that tier of to me one of the best Gundam series but um what I did to some of them or at least one of them um I kind of like this one because again uh, this was the time when I wasn't painting I was just um not getting into the series so the thing is is that what I did with this one I kind of like this one again it's okay to panel line them oh, i mean if you want to just panel line alone you can panel line just alone right um this one here i definitely want to paint them because out of all the the leaf gundams he's one of my favorites right definitely um these kits have were introduced with a lighter feature with the um reactor DGN drive well this one here I haven't put in DGN drive because I wanted it to actually look like literally just basic with the GM battery which is this red um, device behind here um, definitely he's the X here is not one of the best kits ever to actually have boom but to me honestly if you're a fan definitely you should have him in the collection um, when it comes to the double riser, right? This kit, to me, honestly, the new stands, which are these here, are not the best things for this kit here. So the thing is, is that if you get the old stands, which are the action base um, tools, definitely you could actually put them up on the action base tools to actually um, display them properly. So, but honestly, it's um, a really good kit to have. Now, this here is the Quanta, which is the last kit that FCNA, F, well, Satsun actually piloted. Definitely pick him up because honestly, if you're collecting, especially just the blow kits alone, this kit, kit here is a must, definitely. Okay, so here we have the new Gundam, which is piloted by Amor Ray, which is one of the OG, as a matter of fact, I should say one of the OGs, the OG Gundam pilot of them all. Alright, All right, as you can see... And you used to pilot one before this? Yes, the RX-78-2 Gundam. So the thing is, is that, okay, this kit comes with water slides because it's a good car. Good car kits are... To me, the bomb. A lot of them are not all, not all that, but literally, this kit is a redesign by Kitsukoki Hajime, and I honestly love this kit. It's one of my favorite kits in my collection. As you can see, he has the spin funnels. He comes with, you know, the different. Um, highlight like the parts on it, there's claws on the feet, as you can see, well you can't see it here but literally these yellow parts are claws that comes out, um, all the print funnels could have straighten out and go on to the backpack, 
for here. And I mean, there's a lot of detail as well as on the thrusters and stuff like that. There's hidden thrusters. I haven't opened these parts in a long time, so it's a little sick now, so I'm not going to open it. Now, the decals are literally really, really, really good. This is actually one of the first kits I actually worked with water slides on. Um, I would say literally, pick this guy up. Alright, Grim. Alright, this guy looks like a couch. Okay, funny enough you should say that. Um, this guy here is the Double Zeta Gundam. And he came out in the 1980s, whereby they were trying to compete with Transformers. So hence why the design of he could actually transform into what you call, you know, the, this is here, the mode is called the G Fortress, right? Now, this here is a fully painted kit. I took my time with this guy and to me he came out perfection in the sense whereby he's one of the best kits I believe I ever painted and if you notice there's a lot of chrome pieces as you can see here and if you notice too maybe like um, some of the front pieces and stuff like that, but to me, honestly, this is one of the best kits of the 2018 right. lineup. You can take a look at the back. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, yeah, you look like Skyfire a lot. Yeah, definitely, you look like a Skyfire. Um, that kind of pin in front, you could open. Definitely, the kind of pin in front could open. It's a little. Stiff, so that's why I won't open it now. But as you can see, there's a painted pilot figure in the inside. Alright, as well as what I love about this kit, he comes with two core, two core fighters. Mm -hmm. um, as you, this front here could actually separate from this part here. Alright, and okay. um, to me, it's 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 a really 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 good kit. It's not posable to the sensor by it's it's what you consider a brick kit, but honestly, it's it's a really really good gun. I'm mean, I, I I would say definitely give it a try for anybody who's actually into building on them and wants to actually have like a transformable kit. Definitely go with these. Up next. Okay, so this here is my Gundam Seed collection. Okay, first of all, we, here we have the Gundam Freedom 2.0, right? This kit is piloted, or, or should I say this Gundam was piloted by Kiri Yamato, which is this guy right here, as you can see. Um, to me, this is one of the best kits that, yeah, definitely it's one of the best looking bus stuff. But actually, this is when they actually started making pre-rise bus of kits. So, hence why I picked them up. Alright, so the thing is, is that, honestly, this here kit was one of the first kits with a polycaps. Alright. And it's polycaps. Polycaps are the joints that actually connect to the gun. And so the thing is, is that you see? well, you can't see them because again, it's joint. But polycaps are the joints that connect to the kits. So in other words, action figures have those joints that actually move. Um, polycaps were just uh, basically the same thing. They're just like joints that you you would use on kits and stuff like that when building a kit. But this kit here is basically polycap free doesn't need any of at all but it, to me one of the first features of this kit is I love the whole cut, the cockpit aspect that it opens and as you can see Master Grade kits come with the pilot inside yeah. we can zoom in Alright, 
This kit here is really, really good. Yeah. This kit here is really, really good. Definitely, again, a must have if you look if you into Gundam and you want a gold Gundam. It's one of the best designs that to me does. Okay, so here we have a special kit for my collection. It's the first massacre that I ever painted. And here we, this is the Yale Strike Gundam, which is the remastered version, as you can see. And literally, I went all out airbrushed on this bag. Oh, this is also Kiri Yamato. Okay. So, thing is, this is actually his first Gundam. Right? What originally, with all the backpack, he's called the Strike Gundam. And with the backpack, which is the Ale Strike, he's called the Ale Strike Gundam. Alright? This is the backpack, as you can see. Yeah. I mean, because of the. everything is articulated on this guy. Do you get that cool stand with him too? Uh, it also comes with the kit as well. Which is why I bought the kit as well, because all of the whole runway vibe with it and stuff like that, as well as it has this cool like um, feature where you can plug into the kit as well. This plugs into the back of the Strike Gundam itself, but because of the fact that it has the Eel Strike pack mm -hmm. in it, um, this uses that, that particular um, entry point. So the thing is, you can't plug this in when it has the Eel Strike, well, the Eel pack has attached to it. But to me, this kit was very enjoyable. It was one actually one of the first kits that I actually posted on Instagram. And what's your Instagram by the way? My Instagram is Gundam underscore Grim. Well oh, Grim underscore Gundam. So definitely if you guys have a chance check it out. And you know, like a couple of my pictures, even comment. Tell me if if if, if they're garbage if I'm you know, garbage or not. This guy is the Master Grade Buster Gundam. And as you can see, yes, definitely he has the aesthetic as the um, heavy arms Gundam. I mean, he is armored um, in that sense. All right. And what happened is, is that this guy, to me, is you know he's very detailed in that sense. He has the whole aesthetic of the um. Heavy arms gun the way by he has missile, hidden missiles and stuff like that. As you can see you can reach up the hatches and stuff like that. Um, he's also a very solid kit in the sense whereby there's nothing that really falls off him when you try to move him around. So definitely anybody that's looking to get into Gundam as well as if you like Gundam Seed, he's a really good kit to actually own. I agree. This guy is another one of my favorites from your kit collection. Okay, so here we have the Astray Red Frame Kai. And this is from the manga of Gundam Seed. Or at least one of the mangas from Gundam Seed. And he is actually one of my favorite Gundams as well. Hence why I got him. Um, as you can see, he comes with two samurai swords. Um, he's very posable in that sense. As, well, uh, at least, you know, I mean, he is very cool. As he, well, he's not as in, he's not in pose as you can see. Um, he's also very detailed, and again, he's one of my favorite colors, red. Red is literally one of my favorite colors. So the thing is, is that, as you can see, he comes with a stand because of the backpack. If you notice, the, the team with Gundam Seed is that Gundam mostly have a backpack whereby it's interchangeable in the sense whereby most backpacks can be used with each Gundam 
which is the uh, important factor. And again, again, also very good solid kit to pick up and to add to, or to add to your collection. So definitely give this guy a try. This guy is a master as well. All right, if you guys noticed, all I really do collect is master grades, other than that one hybrid you guys saw. Um, this is the Destiny Gundam. And as you can see, Who you this guy? This guy is Shin. He's basically a fucking crybaby baby. Alright, but honestly, to me, regardless of the pilot, this is a really good design kit. Um, what I love about it is the wings. The wings are amazing on it, if you look at it. Alright, and the weapons. This is a fully weapon kit, as you can see. This is a, is a real gun um, factory, as well as this is the, the anti sword, the anti ship um, sword. So. It was a kit definitely, I, if I, when I started collecting the Gundam Seed characters that I wanted to actually get. This is my last Master Grid, at least built Master Grid. Uh, here we have the Justice Gundam. All right, you, could, you can call it a 2.2. Uh, this here it is piloted by Achen Sala. All right. As you can see, it comes with a glider as a backpack whereby you can actually take off the Gundam itself and rest it on top of the backpack to, cre to create a glider effect almost resembling kind of like the Green Goblin Yeah, that looks cool I mean, uh, I mean it's one of my favorite designs of um, the Gundam Seed series so Again, this is a Gundam that I believe also that if you like the Destiny Gundam, you definitely like this Gundam as well because it has a sort of Destiny vibe to it in that, that respect. If you notice the, with the Destiny, um, the Sholos also has a beam saber effect in the sense whereby these come on and they become beam sabers. Same as this. So definitely it's a kit to have in the collection and it's a definitely groom recommended build. Okay guys, this here is my collection and i just like to say thank you guys for viewing and like, subscribe and comment please as always and you know what, let, me, let us know what you guys collect down below in the comments. Peace out guys. Pick your target